Well, hello there guys. Long time no see on this channel. Uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to be vlogging. Um, it's really early in the morning right now. It's uh, about half past five and I am up because, not what you would think because of the baby. Actually, yeah, I'm up because of the baby because she just had a feed. But normally I go back to sleep between this feed, which is like five o'clock, um, and the next feed, which is eight o'clock. But I've got the worst tummy ache ever and I've had it all night. Started at about... 10 o'clock last night and I just had the worst night's sleep because I just haven't been able to sleep because of tummy ache, not because of the newborn baby because she's great and she sleeps. Well, she doesn't always sleep but she slept tonight. Um, she's actually just, she slept between 11 and 5 which is amazing. So in terms of sleep wise, I'm doing good but today, not so good. Can't work out what the problem is, I never have tummy ache and it's like really high up like in your actual tummy and I, it must have been something that I've eaten. It's got to the point now where I just feel really hungry so I've come downstairs and I'm going to make some porridge. Today is Valentine's Day, this makes it such a mess in here as well guys, just ignore the mess in the background. Today is Valentine's Day, um, so I thought I would vlog our Valentine's Day, the first ever vlog since we had Little River. Um, we are staying in tonight, I think Mike's cooking. I have uh, an appointment with my personal trainer at 9. And I couldn't sleep, I was like, I'm just gonna get up and start my day at half past five because it's not that early. I usually, like, I, I wouldn't think anything of six, but it's like when it's five, I'm like, hmm, it seems quite early. Anyway, gonna make this porridge, gonna eat it. Happy Valentine's Day to me. The baby's asleep with Mike in case you're wondering where she is. She's gone back to sleep fine. On another note, at five in the morning when I'm making porridge, these new sausage dog hob top things are making me happy. They're such a cute colour. My tummy is feeling a lot better after eating that and I just posted this picture to my Instagram. This was taken almost a year ago in Japan. How crazy. I don't know where the time goes, especially this past year when I was pregnant. It just flew past. I love this picture. I want to go back to Japan so bad. So whilst Mike is asleep, I'm going to wrap up his um, Valentine's Day present. We normally exchange gifts on Valentine's Day first thing in the morning but I think today we're gonna do it at night because he's cooking um, and he's at work all day as well so I just thought it'd be nice to do it at night and I've got him a little sneak peek before he sees it these <laughs> aviator goggles now you're probably wondering what the hell why would he need flying goggles basically Mike has been lusting after a car called a Morgan three-wheeler if you don't know what it is I suggest you google it it's basically like toad of toad hall type car um and he's finally ordered one and it's coming next month and these are to wear in it because it doesn't have a roof or a windscreen hilarious and i've also got him this sign for his garage he's gonna love it i think i've nailed it i think i've nailed it i also have him a card with upstairs So this is my favourite part of the day at the moment, is picking out little ones out for every morning. I come into her room and pick out a little outfit for her. Um, today she's wearing this cute little pinafore. I'm not entirely sure how practical this is going to be because um, she hasn't worn it yet, but it's so cute. Um, and she's got a little Zara kind of body shirt thing. It's got like a body attached to it and some grey tights and her little white cardigan which on a side note this has been her most worn item probably out of her whole wardrobe and it was from mother care it's just super super useful it's like a thick white cardigan she wears it all the time and her little vest to go underneath it as well because it is cold outside right guys so i've made it in the car it's 8 30 i'm on my way to personal training little puck is in the back with me i managed to get her ready in time it was a little bit of a palaver um yeah off we go. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I've completely failed at my first day back vlogging after having my little mummy break. I have not vlogged since this morning. Hello, piggy. Basically, I went for a workout with my personal trainer and my mum because my mum started working out with me, which is really exciting because I've been trying to convince her to work out for years. Years, piggy, years. And treacle. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, so, yeah, I went for a workout with mum. It was actually really good because I haven't... Um, I feel like it was the first, well it's only like my second proper workout but I feel like she pushed us a bit harder this this time and oh my god my cardio fitness is so bad, like a joke bad. So I need to work on that but baby steps. And then we popped in to see my grandma and she had a problem with her ankle and had to go to the doctor and it, just, it ended up being one of those days where I was like 
of just dashing about but I did just get my nails done look how amazing this looks I'm super super excited about this I've never had this level of glittery polish before look at that in all its rose gold glory we're actually off on holiday next week skiing so i was super excited to get my nails done because they were looking really bad also if you're wondering what this thing was behind my nails how cool is this picture that my friend gareth got me for christmas i've only just seen him last week that's why it's down here now we're going to put it on the wall over there um it's made out of stamps well, it was obviously made out you can see you can see with your eyes that it's made out of stamps isn't it cool? I love it. So I've just got home. Mike is on his way home now. He has been at work today, but he's cooking tonight. He's cooking a romantic dinner. And I've just got home to a mountain of posts. So I'm gonna open up some of the posts. I know what some of it is. Her ski suit, I think, has arrived. So I'm gonna show you that. And then I'm gonna, I think I might have a gin and tonic. I think Wednesday night, Valentine's Day, we'll call for a gin and tonic or maybe a glass of red wine. Just as I was about to show you all the deliveries that came today, Mike's got back with food, yay! Um, so I'm gonna start at this end. <laughs> I've laid them all out. I just got a massive ASOS order that I must have made last night during the night feed. <laughs> Basically, I had a load of stuff in my basket. You know how it like saves it? And I'd been, every night at like four o'clock in the morning when she's feeding, I like add more to it. And obviously last night I ordered it. I woke up this morning thinking, oh, I must order that ASOS stuff. And I'd obviously done it already. Good job I didn't order it twice. Um, although you can always send it back. Delivery from mother care of spare breast pads because that's really sexy. And little bugs, snowsuit. How cute is this? This is from their My K collection. I looked at loads and loads and loads of different snowsuits and this was the one that I decided to buy in the end. Although it does actually look fairly small. I'm gonna have to try it on her um, and I hope it fits because I think we're leaving in like two days so we don't have time to get a bigger one. If she, do you think she'll need a bigger one in this? Ooh. It looks quite small, doesn't it? Very small. Hi, by the way. Hello there. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, I've already vlogged about me shopping. Have and you? Stuff. Yeah, because you asked me oh. to. So it's a nice I forgot about that, actually. Mini vlog of me shopping, and then I'll be a oh, takeover a surprise of that in a meal. minute when I'm going to start shopping. Well, I haven't seen you since this morning, so I was excited. And then I also got this from Elizabeth Arden today. A box of milk tray that says, Be Mine, Fleur. Not very good for the uh, shrinking tummy situation right now. Um, and then I also got this. This is actually, this blew me away when I opened it, um, if I'm honest. It's from Chanel, but it's for River. I haven't opened the card yet. Look at this. It says her name and her birthday. How beautiful. What a lucky little girl to get a teddy bear from Chanel very spoiled um, and then these are actually for Mike I haven't shown him them yet I was gonna wrap them up and give them to him as a present but now he's here he's just gonna have to have them unwrapped um, but yeah stronger with you which is the fragrance that he wears he's almost out of it actually as well and the new shower gel of that fragrance it smells amazing and then I also got a massive pile of underwear um, and a bra because because I'm breastfeeding, my bra size is like all over the shop and I had to order a bigger sports bra. So I tried all my sports bras this week and they do not fit. So yeah, and some new underwear because why not? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I've been wearing massive granny pants for the past few months because I've had a baby. So I thought I'm gonna treat myself to some new underwear. Not particularly sexy underwear. On a side note with Victoria's Secret actually, massive props to their customer service team because the delivery um, of that underwear. I ordered it like three weeks ago and I didn't realise until a few days ago that it hadn't arrived So I went onto their tracking system and it had shown as delivered so I was like, oh no, it's obviously gone like to the wrong address or something I literally messaged them on their like instant messenger saying hi This is my order number it never arrived and they just replied saying no problem We'll send you a new package and it arrived two days later. I think that's very good. They did like literally no fuss um, Also another thing that happened today. My mum gave me this book. She has been raving about it for the past month. She's, I think there's four of them out of, and there's gonna be seven, because it's called The Seven Sisters, but there's four that she's written already, the other ones haven't been written yet. Mum says they are amazing, so I'm excited. And, fun fact, this image on the front, I saw it and I was like, I've been there, I know this, and it's actually taken from Villa Carlotta in um, Lake on Lake Como, where we went, I've been there twice, but we went there this year in June, and, they have changed it slightly because I was like, I've been there, I'm sure. And I looked back through my photos and they've taken some statues off here and they've added this little circle thing and they've put an, uh, like a beach in front of it instead of the lake. Recognise it instantly. 
very funny. So we have the Padron peppers in there. They are shimmying up. This is the pasta kind of sauce. Um, well, it's kind of like a bit of a ratatouille kind of mix of the few bits thrown in. So I'm going to stick the uh, prawns in there in a minute. And I get them. Then I've got some broccoli and some asparagus over there to put in. And pasta to cook. 10 minutes to go. Countdown is on. Why, hello there, Mr. Valentine's Day hello, chef. Hello, that looks spectacular. Hopefully it's up to scratch. Wowza, check you out. What is it? Can you tell us? It's just a surf and turf ratatouille pasta special. <laughs> just made it up. This looks delicious. Let's fill it. Yeah. Yummy asparagus, broccoli, pea pasta. Look at the steak, yummy! Haven't had rare steak in a very, very long time. Indeed, you need to sit down, my darling. Okay. Got his presents here. There's a card from me, and a card from the little bean. And I had to share this red wine with you all. This was a discovery, a recent discovery, thanks to my brother-in-law. It's a Portuguese wine called Smart Dog. It's probably the tastiest wine I've ever had. I don't normally drink red wine. This converted me. It's really delicious and it's got a sausage dog with a top hat and a monocle on the front. I mean, could it get any better? What do you think, pig? Good choice? I'm filming Mike's reaction I mean, to what I showed you earlier. River has already exceeded <laughs> expectations with her initial, you know, first Valentine's Day, she even popped to Armani herself to do it. Well done, <laughs> my darling. Well From done. River. What do you mean, River? <laughs> she went to the shops and bought it herself with her own pocket money. Pretty much. What could this be? Do you know what this is? No, I, I, you don't know. Okay, I, I've got a hint because I've got a feeling I might have tried to buy it. Oh right no, there. you know! But is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Best present that ever. That is amazing. Can <laughs> you explain why? I've explained why you when I was wrapping them this morning. Already. That. Do you want to put them on? Show everybody. Phenomenal. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> You're so embarrassing! <laughs> Which way to the show? <laughs> I was going to say, what does Toad and Toad Horse say? And there's this one as well. Okay, I'll open this with like. Oh, Jesus! It's really heavy, watch oh, out! Give me a hint, and they took up a wine glass. <laughs> Mike's oh, guzzled his wine. I've hardly drank any of Actually, I have actually kind of guzzled mine as well. Biggles over here. <laughs> Happy. Uh, we're gonna put that in pride of place. <laughs> I've also got a little package over here, guys. Oh. oh! I'll show you when I've opened it. Someone is a spoiler, guys. Look at this! So beautiful. Satchel. Silver Burberry satchel. You are very naughty. Have I got Valentine's Day right? Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're naughty, but you're my, naughty. I may be naughty, but I've treated myself this year, so I've treated you. Oh, very, very spoiled this Valentine's Day. What was that little addition you had there, MDF? I feel like, though, you need one more spoiler. What? Pudding. Oh. <laughs> I was like, you can't have won anything more than this. No. Look at it, it's so shiny. It's so shiny. Guys, we've got a little third wheeler this Valentine's Day. Look at her outfit. She came prepared. <laughs> he really is a spoiler, guys. Rice pudding. This is actually, he didn't make it. It's the best rice pudding ever. Is it Rachel's Divine one, Mike? Is that what it's called? So good. So I thought I'd show you a quick sneak peek of the ASOS stuff. If you can hear farting, it's the baby. It's not me. <laughs> Bugsy. <-ish. laughs> um, this I actually just tried on her when she was asleep, snuck it on her, and it's actually big. It looks really small, but it's actually quite big for her. Um, I'm undecided whether or not to try and get the up to one month, because obviously it's going to get warmer, and then by the time she's like the perfect size for it. I don't know, I'll try it on her tomorrow when she's got like proper like daytime clothes and see, um, and when she's awake and she's like not totally still and curled up um and i also got this swimsuit onto the asos stuff i actually really like this i thought it was going to be way too sexy there's a um like spa in the place that we're staying in next week kind of like sauna and stuff mike is watching tv in case you're wondering it's actually really really nice and really flattering because it has these bits on the edge like elongate your legs 
and then this bit kind of I don't know it's just really nice and I'm not quite there with the bikini yet so I wanted to get an all-in-one I really like it um, and then this one is an ASOS own brand dress I actually got this in my normal size um, which is a 10 but it's slightly too tight on the waist still but I think a bigger size would be too big everywhere else so that one's gonna go back I also got a plain white t-shirt because I tried on my plain white t-shirt that I have already yesterday and it has holes in it so um, I got a new one that's gonna keep and then this one I'm unsure about let me know what you guys think this is a suede like a pink suede biker jacket um, these bits aren't they're like um, tissue paper over the zippers I'm not entirely sure about this what do you guys think do you think it's too pink I kind of love it and then I'm kind of like mm, I'm like in the middle and then lastly I got two pairs of black skinny jeans because my maternity jeans are getting to the point where they just fall down now um, and my old jeans are too tight still so I wanted to get um, a pair of jeans to size up from my normal size for the next however long <laughs> um, before I get back into my old jeans and I think I'm gonna keep these ones these are ASOS own brand I think they're about 20 pounds and then these are mango ones these are a bit thicker but they're a little bit bigger, whereas these ones kind of a bit more stretchy and they're shorter as well. And I also like that they have the rose gold studs. So I'm gonna keep these ones. And those ones are going back. So we are gonna feed a little one and then head to bed. So that's gonna be it for the vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, our first vlog back. I didn't manage to get any makeup on, but I did manage to get out of the house on time and get everywhere and sort everything out, so. Um, maybe tomorrow I will get makeup on. You never know. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Bye.